welcome back to another Crafted Magazine video. In this video, we're building a simple, modern outdoor bench inspired by Anna White. We'll put a link to her original plans in the description below. The only materials needed for this build are a few pressure-treated 2x4s and 1x4s, some screws, and glue. The first step in the build was breaking down the 2x4s and 1x4s into their proper lengths. I used 2x10s rather than 2x4s on this build as they tend to be much straighter but you can use 2x4s if you don't have the capability of ripping 2x10s to width. I ripped them to width on the table saw, but you could also use a bandsaw or circular saw. My version of the bench is shorter than Anna's plans with my total length at 54 inches instead of the 72 inches called for in the plan. Also, having a stop block system really made the breaking down of lumber quick and easy. That said, I didn't tighten down my stop block enough as some of the longer pieces ended up being a little bit too long, but I cleaned them up with a hand plane later on. After cutting the pieces to size, assembly was very simple. Lay the 54 inch long pieces of 2x4 perpendicular to the 14 and a half inch long pieces of 2x4 on the ground, and then glue and brad nail two 1x4 pieces on top of the 2x4s. If you don't have a brad nail, you can definitely use some shorter screws here. Add some more glue and put the next layer of 2x4s on top of the previous layer, securing them with 2.5 inch deck screws. Keep stacking like this until you run out of pieces. I used 6 total long pieces instead of the 7 called for in the plan, since my bench was shorter and I also wanted to keep the weight down a bit. Next I rounded over the edges of the bench with an 8 inch round over bit on a compact router. I also gave the bench a good sanding with 120 grit sandpaper and it was basically done. Since the wood is pressure treated, finishing isn't needed and probably not recommended as this wood is extremely wet. If you finished it, the piece would definitely crack the finish in a very short amount of time. Uh, off camera, I also chamfered the edges of the bench's feet with a block plane. This helps to prevent tear out when sliding the bench around on concrete. You could use a block plane or some sandpaper to accomplish the same thing. I hope you enjoyed this simple build. You could build this using only a circular saw or even a handsaw, a drill, and some sandpaper if you don't have a, a larger shop. It's a very comfortable, sturdy bench, and it was inexpensive and easy to build. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. We put out new videos every week. Also, if you'd like to support us further, check us out on Patreon. Patreon allows us to continue these projects by providing us with financial support. Thanks for watching guys and until next time, happy building.